Hello, and welcome to another ASCRS Society chat update. I'd like to start with some exciting news that I know has been long awaited by our members. I'm really excited to report that Gut Check, the official ASCRS podcast, is now live. Our six co-hosts meet for the first time and share their backstories in the first episode, which is now available wherever you listen to podcasts. From clinical cases to career stages, the hosts will talk about the life and practice of colorectal surgeons from top to bottom. The show is available internationally across 14 different podcast platforms, including Apple, Spotify, Google, and Amazon. New episodes will be released bi-weekly. Congratulations and a big thank you to Drs. Alex Key, Avery Walker, Beden Das, Aaron King-Mullins, John Abelson, and Sam Eisenstein. Thanks also to Stuart Meyer, who is the ASCRS Administrative Lead in this project. In other long-awaited news, the updated ASCRS textbook of colon and rectal surgery can now be purchased as a hardcover book and of course it remains available digitally on our very own ASCRSU. Congratulations and thank you on behalf of the Society to the editorial team led by Dr. Scott Steele and including Drs. Tracy Hull, Neil Hyman, Justin Makel, Tom Reed and Chuck Whitlow. Thanks also to so many of you, our members, who wrote excellent content for the book. It looks really fantastic. Speaking of ASCRSU, there were 856 new visitors to the site just last month. It's quite incredible, really. I'm really excited to see the demand and how this just continues to grow. ASCRSU will become something our society is very proud of as a huge accomplishment. A new video-based education channel was also just added to the ASCRS toolkit within ASCRSU, and this includes peer-reviewed videos from trending educational topics. Look for some of the videos, for example, on the lift procedure by Drs. Bello, Kaminsky and Coker, and high ligation of the IMV and IMA by Drs. Mark Solomon, Gabriela Vargas and Alessandro Ferreira. Now let's move on to our committee update. For this month's committee update, I would like to welcome Dr. Brooke Gerland. Dr. Gerland is chair of the ASCRS Steering Committee on Pelvic Floor Disorders. And for a decade, she used to work with us at Cleveland Clinic, but now she's clinical professor of surgery at Stanford and obviously an expert in pelvic floor surgery. Welcome, Brooke. My name is Dr. Brooke Gerlin, and I live in Northern California. I'm a colorectal surgeon at Stanford University, and I serve as the chair of the steering committee on pelvic floor disorders. The mission of this committee is to improve care for individuals with pelvic floor dysfunction through education, outcomes, and collaboration with other pelvic floor specialists and societies. The committee members are highly engaged and dedicated, and we've been working on a series of meaningful initiatives. It is a great honor to take over this leadership role from Drs. Vogler and Bordiano and to work with Dr. Craig Olson as co-chair. So what exactly have we done as a committee? I'll share with you a few highlights. In prior years, we collaborated with our colleagues in radiology and developed a consensus document for pelvic floor imaging. The fluoroscopy and MRI manuscripts have been published and endorsed by multiple societies. I am pleased to say that the pelvic ultrasound document is in press, so keep a lookout for this landmark publication. Our group is dedicated to improving patient outcomes, and we have established a multi-center quality improvement prolapse registry. We hope to expand this registry with longer term follow-up and broader accessibility. From this registry, we've looked at questions related to patient reported outcomes and concomitant anterior and middle compartment prolapse. Recently, committee members convened to develop an algorithm for treating recurrent rectal prolapse. And what about this past year? Well, we focused on standardized rectal prolapse data collection. We identified core descriptors for rectal prolapse. 
The focus of the Pelvic Floor Consortium was a final meeting that involved months worth of work where we prepared. We had a three-part Delphi questionnaire and an international collaboration of experts. So over 200 individuals participated. And at the meeting, 57 individuals convened and helped discuss the core descriptors and come up with a consensus. So let me elaborate on the Pelvic Floor Consortium. Whereas the committee is appointed by the ASCRS Society, the consortium is open to all individuals and specialties interested in pelvic floor disorders and is open to members and non-ASCRS members. We collaborate with many different pelvic floor societies and encourage interdisciplinary projects. At the past Pelvic Floor Consortium meeting, uh, which was in ASCRS Tampa 2022, our 57 attendees who were both involved, they were actually in person and also via teleconference, helped to vote on these different core descriptors. And the group unanimously voted on developing a standardized prolapse operative report. And over this coming year, we will be working on a different aspects of that operative report. If you're interested in getting more involved, please consider joining the Pelvic Floor Consortium via the ASCRS website. This will give you access to our mailing list, updates, opportunities, and meetings. And what's coming up, ASCRS Seattle 2023. So during the Pelvic Floor Consortium meeting, we will focus uh, along with our pelvic floor physical therapy colleagues on discussing obstructed defecation and posterior prolapse. The work will start months before. We'll have a series of work groups that will come together over the year and the final consensus will occur at that meeting. So at the completion of the meeting, we intend to create a consensus document defining best practices and optimal timing for pelvic floor physical therapy and surgery. Joining the Pelvic Floor Consortium and the details about the upcoming meeting are located on the ASCRS website. I look forward to seeing you there. Well, thank you for the great update, Dr. Garland. Really fantastic to hear the work that the, the group is doing uh, of so much interest to so many of our members and our patients. Really thank you for the continued good work. The last thing I'd like to bring to the membership's attention is the chance to nominate a senior surgeon for the Masters in Colorectal Surgery Lectureship for the 2023 Annual Scientific Meeting. Lectureship honorees have made a considerable contribution to the specialty and to the society. Nominations are being accepted through the end of the month. You'll see them in the emails that come out regularly. For those of you who made the 22 meeting, the Masters in Colorectal Surgery Lectureship honored Dr. Randolph Bailey, and it was delivered by Dr. Deborah Ford, who gave a really wonderful lecture. Thank you for listening and thank you for being part of this specialty and always remember this is your specialty and ASCRS is your society. You are part of this 122 year legacy of surgeons who've made our specialty what it is today and together we will make it all that it can be tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>